Bottles and More channel. Wanted to get this video out to Mickey and John and the guys uh, on the Phantom 4 Pro Facebook group. Uh, my Phantom 4 Pro is showing up Friday. Um, previous Mavic owner. Got a lot of Mavic videos on the channel. Some of that stuff crosses over, so maybe if you want to look back at the channel and take a look at some stuff, um, you know, there might be something there that interests you. Also into FPV, fly a lot of different quads, really into the Connex builds uh, right now, and that kind of leads into the discussion and the video here. We're talking about the Avagant Glyphs. I've done a video on them already, um, but I wanted to show those guys a little bit more of what I was talking about. So there's the box right there. Uh, real quick, make sure that you do a search. Uh, if you want to buy them brand new or, or join the Connex Pro Site uh, Facebook group because there's a link for a, a, a email link to get $50 off on these. So real quick, I've tried the Transformers, I've tried uh, some friends, uh, Fat Shark HD uh, V3s, and you know, I use <clears throat> Fat Shark goggles, uh, for the v Dominator V2s for my analog quads, um, you know, and these are the goggles that everybody are typically used to, where you look inside and you have screens inside there. Well, the glyphs are a lot different because the glyphs, actually the lenses in there actually project the image onto your eyes so you can have the glyphs on and due to this small thing and you're not being in that tunnel you have full awareness of what's going on you can look all around you um you know when i when i'll be using these with the phantom i'll have the remote so i can walk around with it wherever i want and see where i'm going um, as compared to using it with my Connex base station here, I'm tethered with the HDMI cable to this. So uh, this is just kind of how it works. And I'll still probably actually end up using some stuff on this setup here. Um, if you look on this side here, on the back side here, you'll see a couple things. This is the Connex transmitter, this red thing. Right next to it is an HDMI cloner box and then an HDMI splitter. I'll probably rig up the cloner box to my Phantom uh, remote because I can do, I'll be using an iPad, not an Android device, and I'll be running my HDMI out of the module that I'll add to the remote. So this will allow me to record all of the FPV footage because I like kind of putting some of that stuff into my uh, videos as well that I make and it also has a microphone input on it so um, so I'll be able to, re to annotate my videos and stuff using the microphone that's built into the cloner box um, it doesn't add any latency or nothing at all um, all of the FPV racers are using this rig pretty much with Connex, this exact setup. So it's tried, true, and tested. Um, and those guys are moving a heck of a lot faster than, uh, than we are. So <clears throat> I went outside earlier and shot some footage. Um, I set my quad up on the end of the table and basically um, I wanted to try to give you a visual as good as a visual representation of what the goggle view look like and then basically just like what you're able to see all around you um, while you have the goggles on um, as I said in the video the, the biggest downside to these is the ed the headphones the earmuffs here you know these things were made for uh, airline people and everything like that but they kind of just fell into a whole market that I don't think they were even expecting to fall into uh, with the growth of uh, the pro site. Because once you fly an analog quad racing and once you fly um, the digital stuff, it's, it's hard to go back despite the extra cost. But it's just a superior technology. 
especially if you're a DJI fan because you know we're used to great video and everything like that so um, there is a brightness control on here you press this button in back here on the back and you have three levels of brightness um, they're really comfortable on your face it's just all about setting them up it comes with these nose pieces and there's like four or five of them in the box and they're magnetic they just click into place and just stay there and the whole point of the goggles is to sit on the bridge of your nose and have these projectors as close to your eyes as possible then you actually have an elevator adjustment and then you have the IPD adjustment to get them all lined up really great has a um, mini HDMI port, charges with USB. Um, I, I think it lasts me probably about two and a half to three hours before I have to charge. Um, so that's pretty much, I think, about all I can think of right off the bat. Um, as I say in the video that I shot, it's just a different way of of looking at things if you can't if you don't have anybody that you can actually go and look through and see it you know you it's kind of like one of those things you have to take everybody's word for it and just buy them and try them out the good thing is is that they're so popular right now I've been selling a lot of my stuff on RC groups I see people pop them up there for 400 bucks what they paid for them and they sell for four hundred dollars so if you don't like them you know just turn around real quick and try to sell them so that's my phone, sorry. So anyway, I'm gonna cut to that DVR footage. I hope you like what you see. You know, give me a like, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a ton of Phantom 4 stuff coming. Um, you know, I'm not super artsy when it comes to the 4. I'm more on the technology inside and stuff like that. But I do get into, you know, Adobe Premiere and, uh, you know, Leechy and all the apps and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll see you guys around and I hope this, uh, Helps you out, Mickey and John, and uh, anybody who is looking to maybe pick up a set of these. So, we'll see you. Alright, so, I've got the quad set here, and we'll start the DVR. Hopefully you can hear me alright. So the quad's here pointed out that way. And... I'm going to put the glyphs on. Now, the big downside about the glyphs is this. It's hard to hear, that's for sure. But you're going to see a little bit of a lag and a delay in the DVR feed because I'm running in the high quality mode, which has a little bit more latency than the high performance mode and that's just a pro side thing it doesn't have anything to do with the goggles or the cloner box or the splitter so if I turn around and if I look straight ahead basically I can't see from the top of the bird bath to the top of the trees that's all blocked out with the visor. I can see everything in front of me. You know, like right now I can see my hand right there. And then I can see it right there. But the thing that's great about the glyphs is I can raise my head up and look at the camera and see you and just look my eyes right up and there it is. Same thing if I wanna look up. So it's not about light leakage because the image is being projected into your eyes you're not looking into anything where if light gets in there it's going to wash out the image that's not how these work you know it's a completely different system so once again yeah i mean that's pretty much top of the bird bath to the top of the trees over there is basically what I can't see in my field of view so that's about as good as demo as I can give you and I'll show you the DVR footage <laughs> 